Hawaii's got a lot of bugs. We have these giant carpenter ants that kind of come in and they decide they like electronics. They ate our laptops. They've eaten the copier. They've eaten like three or four printers. We couldn't train anybody to work because there was no restaurants to work in. Well, you can imagine most individuals living with dementia can't tolerate a mask. If we just lose one of these elders, we have failed our mission. The number of people that were needing substance abuse treatment increased an incredible amount, which made it really hard because of our limited technology. After the pandemic, our events turned online. Okay, well, we got a situation. What do we do? And how do we do it? As soon as the pandemic hit, I mean, we were in discussions with TechSoup about how do we help? Nobody is on the ground more than TechSoup. Nobody knows what small and mid-sized nonprofits need. This is exactly what TechSoup does. This pandemic had all the characteristics of a, a natural disaster. And if technology is part of the solution to that, that's where we can help. We all sort of jumped in and it was a kind of a very make it work mentality. VMware was huge. They stepped up right away. Microsoft, Box. Foundations like the Truist Foundation, Libra Foundation. The Truist Foundation invested $2.5 million with the TechSoup COVID Recovery Fund. TechSoup has so many connections in the community that we would never be able to gain overnight, which was really what the pandemic required of us. Without their financial support and their commitment, um, this would not have been possible. Organizations with the greatest need tend to be small, tend to be mostly focused on human services. For them, a $2,000 technology grant can make a huge difference between their being able to continue to operate and having to shut down. Hey, you know, there's this $2,000 grant. That was the easiest possible thing in the world. And we, we saw the process and it was uh, very, very easy, very helpful. We started using everything right away. We were heavily relying on our ability to be technically connected so that we can meet our clients when they're stuck at home. It not only connects the 20 people that are coming in person, but it also connects people from off island that are part of our family here. And it's so nice. We were able to purchase through that grant offer five computers, as well as the software licensing that we needed. The funds that VMware was able to invest began quickly to reach nonprofits who needed them most. When the check came, I just dropped tears. I couldn't believe it. It was like a miracle. In the end, we were able to support 2,400 nonprofits around the world in 18 countries. Newer equipment, functioning equipment is going to help us and is already helping us. Switching to online, it became broader. Some people from Malaysia, some people from, uh, yeah. from UK. Zoom is not the perfect a platform for human interaction, but it is far superior to simply cutting off the programs, which is what, frankly, we would have had to do. We really scrambled to be creative because the one thing we didn't want to do during the pandemic was shut our doors, and that never happened. It all worked out for them, and it was that part was so gratifying. At the end of the day, philanthropy is all about serving individuals. We're really, really grateful to be part of the TechSoup community. It's benefited our organization, the folks that we serve. What an amazing resource TechSoup is. That one person that's stuck in their home that can turn their, their phone on and connect to us and still feel that they're part of their family that's, that didn't get forgotten, that's a miracle. We're thankful for, for organizations such as TechSoup um, for, for helping us and making these dreams a reality. It makes you feel the world is okay and we're all in it together mm -hmm. for, for goodness, for goodness. Mm -hmm.